Hello everyone! Managing your video production and reporting is not easy. First, you need to plan the video content, work with your team to produce awesome videos, upload on YouTube, optimize your video SEO and then track your video statistics and repeat. All of this time consuming and requires discipline in your team. But what if I told you, you can do all of this in the same place? Stay tuned! Let's tune in to see how we can manage video production and video reporting using StackBy. In this one, first we will connect to an API, select social media, integrate to YouTube. Here we will need to add the API key. Go to the Google Developer Console, create credentials, click on API key, copy this key and add it. Let's name it YouTube API. Save this API key. Getting back at the Developers Console, we will search for the YouTube Data API and make sure that we enable the API. Once the API is enabled, we will go back to the dashboard. Here, we have already created a video production and tracking stack. Click on it. We have a format in the table which shows us the name of the video, the status of the video, thumbnail files, and who's the video lead. You can also track the budget of the video, how much has been spent, the target publish date, etc. We already have created a channels table and linked it to the video tracker. Now what we need to do is, go to YouTube. For instance, we have a live video Avengers Endgame trailer. We need the video ID. This is the video. This is the URL. We can get the video ID from here. Copy the video ID and paste it on the platform. So in a similar way, we can bring in the video IDs of all the live videos from YouTube. Once we have all the required video IDs, what we can do is that we can create new views to manage the data that we have. We have already created a video reporting view where we have to filter out the statuses of the videos that are live. Change the status to live and we will only see the videos that are live. We can also change this into a pipeline view, where all the records are in a card format in a pipeline so that it is easy to visualize for the team. At the same time, we can change this into a calendar layout where all the records are placed in a calendar which is a publishing calendar for all the videos. Here we can change the color by status. So now let us see how we can bring in the data to stack by for each of those videos. Go to the video reporting stack. Here we have all the video IDs from YouTube. Create a column and connect it to an API. Choose YouTube as the third party service provider. Call it the YouTube API. Fill in the API from your account with the YouTube API. We will be bringing in the video details. For the ID column in reference, fill in video IDs. Click on apply. This brings in the data of all the published videos. Click on Data. It opens the Data Explorer where we can see the title of the videos, the description, thumbnails, tags. We can also check the duration of the video and the statistics, views, likes, dislikes, and comments. Create these eight columns. This brings in all the required data. We can move it around and organize it as per our requirement. We can also change the formats. For instance, here we want it in the long text API data format. Here all the tags are in a JSON response and we can also bring the like count here. So this is how we can bring in all the required data from the videos and if we want the latest information, all we have to do is hit refresh. The data will change in real time. You can also hit multiple refreshes and get live data for multiple videos. So not only can we plan and manage video production, but we can bring in and automate your video reporting using StackBy. Managing multiple YouTube channels? In a similar way, we can also bring in channels data from our YouTube channel. So we have already created a channels table. In the channels table, all we need to do is get the channel IDs. Go to YouTube. For instance, here is the channel called Marvel Entertainment. Copy the channel ID. Paste in on the platform. Here we already have all the channel IDs. Add the column. Here we will once again connect it to the YouTube account. Connect it to the API. Here we need to bring in the channel details. 
and the ID column in reference is the channel ID, call it Channel API, click Apply. This will automatically pull in all the information. Click on Data and the Data Explorer will open up. Here we can bring in the details of the channel, title, description, thumbnails, the content details, statistics, total view count, subscriber count, and video count. Create these five columns. Change the format to the long text and organize the columns as per your requirement. Refresh the data and see it changing in the real time. So this is how you can track the performance of your videos and channels on YouTube using StackBy. Now you don't have to worry about ping-ponging between multiple tools and manually copying and pasting the data to get things done. Manage your end-to-end -end video production and reporting in a single place using StackBy and take your content game off the charts. Try it out for free today! And like, share, and subscribe to this channel for freshly brewed use case videos on StackBy.